gray outline. Okay. Hmm. As it happens, that's that's one of hers that I that I wish I had written. Um. <laughs> yeah, but I'm glad it's there. Um, and we've come to the top of the hour, uh, and we have uh, uh, and and I believe that she's read here before, but I think it's uh, been a while, and it may and it and it may be that she had um, uh, had not, but um, uh, she runs in in some concentric uh, poet poetry circles and uh i'm very very excited uh, to have uh, uh for this e this evening please welcome jim storm crow uh. ah hi everyone uh, there's my stream on my YouTube if voice cuts out or anything is like, oh, damn it. Okay, so I have to go on my preferences and make it so I'm not, I have to go on my preferences and make it so I'm not pushed to talk. Sorry, one moment. I didn't even think to check, stupid firestorm. Uh... There we go. Okay, so now I should be good to go. I was all thinking about the stream and stuff and didn't, uh, uh, yeah. So yeah, I forgot about my Firestorm preference for Woo. So I hope everybody can hear me okay. Uh, I'm June. Uh, yeah, I hang out in some concentric poetry circles. I'm trying to come back to reading, uh, to a large extent. And, um, so yeah, it's on my stream and, and there if voice goes out and, you're welcome to put it in the thing here. Um, so I titled this My Cardigan Dreams of Pockets because it's kind of descriptive of my writing style at the moment. And I'm very, I, I, I play a lot of songs. I've written a lot of songs. I've write a, I write a lot of poems. Sometimes the poems become song lyrics. I'm going to end with one of those. Sometimes the poems stay poems. Uh, but we're going to do poems and songs that are similar in theme, and all of the poems are form poems because that's what I did for PAD in February, so most of my new stuff is form. And I wrote little twee sayings about... Um, uh, did I not? Ah, la, la. Did I not? Yeah, I did not. So uh this is actually my first time attempting uh, <laughs> attempting something uh, uh like a long reading so i hope it goes okay and you enjoy it uh the first poem is called satan uh and it's a villanelle they're hell but also do not go gently into the iambic pentameter of a rustic peasant my love is like a burning flame of death each promise broken wakes another fear the apparitions rob me of my breath. They say I make the strongest men bereft and push them towards the end within a year. My love is like a burning flame of death. You say I am insane and should have left in your role as progenitor of tears. The apparitions rob me of my breath. The embers are a thing I've always kept, an altoy tin for every vanquished bear. My love is like a burning flame of death. So I am Satan, the angel you detest. Your fair skin burned when I am near. The apparitions rob me of my breath. Alone is what I feel just might be best. For both of us, combustion always near. My love is like a burning flame of death. The apparitions rob me of my breath. So yeah, I... You know, us artists, redhead chicks, I guess we're a bit crazy. I've had two exes call me Satan, so that was fun. Uh, this is going to be a song called Take on the Rainbow. And um, it's uh, both, it, it's kind of a happy relationship song. Oh, thanks. It's kind of a happy relationship song inspired by the Jonestown Massacre. 
So that's the kind of writing I do. Sorry, not, there's some lightness in here, but not, you know, an excessive amount. Heaven said, this is the story of a war we will regret. A place to your best. This is the feast of all the souls we've ever met. This is I won't forget Take on the rainbow Cause the carnival Is all we're meant to see Take on the rainbow And prove that you Are what is meant for me Take on the rainbow Cause the carnival Is all we're meant to see Take on the rainbow, baby, prove that we are what is meant to be. You're all I need. He is bold. See the ways in which we are already told. Oh, the war. See the commitment of those who will be sure. I wish I'd know. Take on the rainbow, cause the carnival is all we're meant to see. Take on the rainbow and prove that you are what is meant for me. Take on the rainbow, cause the carnival is all we're meant to see. Take on with music um it just makes more sense for me uh and this is has the line that is uh inspired the whole thing um this is called leftovers and it's a curel it's a eight two quadrate is great a pack of cigarettes and lies a gray bic lighter with no eyes an adapter for a socket my cardigan dreams of pockets. Three roses you did not give me, a day of love you did not see. You will never wear a locket. My cardigan dreams of pockets. Now, to be fair, that's te technically a truncated. <laughs> Carol, I think I was supposed to go to like five stanzas, but Susan and I decided that those two were good and we were going to stop there. So that's... uh. That's what I did. This is a softer one called Lying. 
I, I, I like to call it a love song to my depression. When that was definitely kind of a poem about depression to a certain extent. So, Sweater got issues, man. Sweater got serious issues. What we got? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I like talking to myself in front of other people. Nope, okay, I'm right. issues I have issues you know <laughs> so that's how it goes uh, a comment like the, the I, I read the I, I was singing the democracy the true hypocrisy of fear and all I could think about was Julie's poem like you were so right girl you're so right so maddening uh, this one's called you were a star and it's a gazal, gazal. There's been a whole discussion about how to properly pronounce this. I think Jay knows. You can pop one voice and correct me if you want, dude. Um, refrain from seven lyrical, graceful couplets. An asteroid shower that we hoped to see at midnight told me all that I had come to know. You were a star. She went along and got the folded chairs, but we were haunted by all that happened in the snow. You were a star. Carry me. The walls become a bludgeon. 
used to wrap a galaxy of guilt. She did not know you were a star. Infantile, we both regressed to teens. In our lust and want to end our misery, we really put on quite a show. You were a star. These, the memories of how we met, and why do I express regret when all the tears and buckets flowed? You were a star. And this is what we seek, the very treasure of our minds. You make me blind and also make me low. You were a star. But this is love, a wonder of the majesty of things. You are the emptiness and also you were a star. Oh, thanks for the nice comments, everybody. I always need them. Oh, all artists always need them. Let's be honest about our lives. Let's just be honest about it. We need as many good comments as we can get to keep up doing this stuff. Yeah, man. I'm all nervous. I, like, I respect you all so much. So playing and, and, and doing my poems for you all is serious. This is one called Sure. Um, it connects because that one's kind of about family and my mother. And this one's kind of about family in general. I wonder to wonder where the ashes fall. Except a bull losses on the theme at all. There is no set. poetry 
this one is um thank you yeah yeah nice and chill um there's a couple loud ones in here but i try to be nice and chill about it because it's more of a poetry thing and um yeah so on a note a note on inspiration coming from weird places the chorus of that song is inspired by a minecraft update i was playing the crap out of at the time so the aquatic update you, you brought phantoms and reefs and treasures <laughs> and i was boating around a lot and yeah that's that's where we ended up so this next one is called poles a uh, not so serious poem about kind of a serious thing. And it's a rupont. Hard to be serious when writing a rupont. A A A A A A B for three, four or five. B B B C keeps it alive. Punt me, RuPaul. Get into soul. The stools are poles. My heart's not whole. Grief has replaced me. Flap a peplum, strut in red rum, the splash we run, decorum blunts a system scheme. Maybe meter makes repeaters. I'm a seether, seeping out fear, my pain a meme. Animal songs about family, a little bit. Uh, where's, yeah, here it is. This song is called Forgive Me. And, you know, everybody's got some mommy issues, and this is the song about mine. Thanks, Jay. Forgive 
A much more serious song about grief. Uh, during that, I was thinking about the Robert Fr Frost clerk that was put up earlier about how you could always tell when you forced a rhyme. And that song, the lyrics of that song started off with just fr forced rhyme hell. <coughs> it was just forced rhyme hell, but I think I brought it around to not. And that can get difficult in songwriting just like it does with poems. Uh, you know, because you, often you really want to rhyme in a song to get it to, you know, string together properly, but you don't want to force it, so it's kind of the same conundrum. This one's called Artistic Compromise, on that note. It's a uh, magical, sing me three stanzas of iambic pentameter, three, four, six. Faded, we are what was once a magi, magi. That's part of the poem now. Spinning through the complexities of space. Starlight wants to shatter us to peace. Together we are only uncut pies. Ideas melding until the filling breaks. Supernova comes and cherries blast high. Spinning out the complexities of space. The chosen way of death is compromise. Balls of gas do not want a face to face. Complex, discreet. A galaxy of place. Faded, we are what was once a magi, spinning out the complexities of space. Starlight wants to shatter us to peace. Yeah, still not entirely sure where that one came from. Apparently, I, I was hungry. I want to talk about pie. Uh, back on the, the, some of, some of my set dovetails with Julie's editorial comment note this is a song called Democracy that I wrote 10 years ago that is still accurate sadly Both sides preach The country bleeds and fear surrounds us Politicking no one speaks About the wars inside our bounds Class war, race war, drug war Yeah, yeah, yeah That's democracy today That's democracy Sorry, put away inside out. No economics trickle down. Jobs created, jobs outsourced. Stay where I am, that's the safe way. NATO, WTO, World Bank, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's democracy today. That's democracy today. Give a little, get a little Maybe we wouldn't feel alone if war wasn't profitable Selfishness, American code Unspoken Halliburton, a boys club Yeah, yeah, yeah That's democracy today That's democracy today
democracy today. Media's concerned with dirt, not what their souls are worth. Characters should underline issues on either side. Miscorrection, bad intentions, mass pretension, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's democracy today. That's democracy today. Double talk, both sides preach. The country bleeds and fear surrounds us. Politic and no one speaks about the walls inside our bounds. Class war, race war. Drug war, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's democracy today. That's democracy today. Yeah, yeah. Get my hair out of my mouth. So, yeah. It's funny how little things change, though. My one goddamn light here, man, I swear. I just put it a little bit... Okay. Maybe that will stop knocking my guitar every time I put it over there. So that's how I feel about politics still. Uh, next is Rise. This is free verse, so, you know, no rhyme, no time. I rise. The world is bright. That is all. Bright, and I can see the rise. The world is rising. All is that thing you say when you have nothing. Nothing is that thing you say when you have everything. The rise I see is the dawn. The world is bright and I can see the dawn and it is all good. All is the thing you say when you have nothing and that thing you say when you have everything does not fit. When the world is bright and dawn is over the rise and I see the becoming of all things new and I see the dawning of all things bright and I see that word which is the thing you say when you have nothing and everything and all I see is the world is bright and the dawn is over the rise and life is good. I rise. Oh, I love that one. It's fun to read. All right. I think I'm about on track to be timely, which is good because I, I, I worked on that today, I swear. This next song is one called Yesterdays. Um, it's a very roundy, roundel, rondel, roundy, roundy about kind of business. But that's all good, right? Because <laughs> it is all good. Um, look. All right. Yeah, I had a big drop. To, I had all my, hopefully, all my technical difficulties during democracy, to be perfectly honest. There's always got to be one song. Yesterday weeks keep slipping up on me. I can't seem to see the freedom I've gained. Still won't collide away. All these yesterday days, nothing I can change. Come find within my brain. All these yesterday days crept by so silently. Oh, maybe there's no rain. Oh, no, no, I can't believe it. All these yesterday days don't affect the day. Can stay the same. Me, I gotta change. I've got to change. Oh, riddle me this, uh, that, and the other. Confronting your past is the true test of a mother. Wanting to be safe, only able to blame. All because of. Yesterdays rip violently away. I will insult the rain. Optimism to be gained. Oh, those yesterdays 
glad to see them gone. I will move along oh, within the song. All those yesterdays keep slipping up on me, but now I see the freedom I've gained. Oh, these yesterdays, they can stay the same. Me, I'll make the change and fly away from yesterday. our climax hopeful things. <gasps> this next one is uh, called What? And um, it's actually, uh, I'll, I'll see if, you know, anybody gets the reference after this one and the next one and then I'll, you know, spill or whatever. Uh, this is a quatern. So begin to refrain from eight sound quatrains on the brain. Tear me away from the surface, insolent the paper rag that breaks at the sight of water I did not mean to shed today. The maypole, the dancers of light, tear me away from the surface to fantasy realms of broken wheels. All time is of the essence. A portal stone, the runes delight, land fear a ghost of endless nights. Tear me away from the surface. Make me a memory of light. Do I succumb, embrace the wheel, despite the work that will be less? Channeling energy is hard. Tear me away from the surface. And uh, uh, to go along with that, we will read, uh, we will play a song inspired by a different fantasy series. I'll give you that much of a hint. They're, they're fantasy series. <laughs> and yes, please donate to the uh, venue. Uh, Cersei's is great. Bernard and uh, Rusty are always great. And I really appreciate playing here and reading here and listening here. You know what I mean. This is called Quartirian. What's left of me and you? Is the silence comfortable? Or is it tension in the air? Why am I so scared? And maybe the sun won't fall down today. And maybe the moon won't wash the stars. Fly you right in through the gates of 
torn not just the political bullshit but just in general you know why does life always want to tear us up i guess that you know it, it was initially about a relationship but that's what that song kind of you know turned out to be is very much about you know being torn up by modern life because it is just you know tear up um yeah, you know, I want to mention like poetry and songwriting are so similar in that you know a lot of it involves repeating things or finding the line that you can really, uh, finding that one line that you can really build something around, uh, which is you know I mean yeah you start with the first line or like your your big scene when you're writing novels or you know stories but, uh, really you have to distill it down to like that one line that really makes the theme when it comes to poetry and uh, songwriting. So that's where they're the real, like, you know, they're a genre kind of of their own. Um, although Cohen managed to mix, you know, novel poetry and song all together, like a mad, like the glorious madman he was. Uh, Beautiful People is one of my favorite books in the world. Filter. This is a rondelle. Uh, 13 lines take two. Count them two. Refrains. The sunspot filter makes my pictures shine. There is no thought to make me more complete. The mile is taken on by inches feet until my lover seems no longer mine. Will an afterthought divine the richer sinners of the fleet? The sunspot filter makes my pictures shine. There is no thought to make me more complete. I cannot speak, for lo, the anthem whines, a constant whir announcing my defeat, and in a hundred lifetimes we will meet, two whispered souls still hunting in the line. The sunspot filter makes my pictures shine. As I figured out in talking about that poem with, uh, with man, my boyfriend, I, I realized that it's very much about kind of selfie culture um, and making yourself appear, you know, more, better, happier, fitter, happier, more productive, you know, Radiohead, uh, you know, than you really are. So, um, and I had, so I picked my song Ordinary to play after this. And this is actually the first song I ever wrote. I'd written countless poems. Um, <laughs> I started writing poems when I was like 11. And I didn't get a guitar and start writing songs until I graduated high school because you know I had time <laughs> at the end of an ordinary summer I stepped in to walk the ways tripped out on the absent and the somber My world turned about to gray And there's no way out of the area I can't seem to find a thing Slipping down on all Cobblestones forgotten Wake up wheezing from my dreaming Screaming Cause it's the ordinary life I've chosen Ever reach 
salvation for us all And it's the ordinary vows I've broken Cause my conditioning was scarred So I'll just reach out on this scheme Try and rip away from me Detached I can find a place A little roaming space Where I can sit and be me Free A little ordinary, yes But extraordinary things will happen In an ordinary world A little ordinary, yes But of all the many things I left I miss my favorite girl Gotta get it a little bit hard because I was getting too much background noise. Um, yeah, so I don't always write just love songs. Thank you, Jay. I, 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 I was certainly proud of myself for that one when I was 18. Gotta admit. Um, next on my poem list, Stubborn about a good relationship. This is a Tonka, which I wrote down, my tween line. <laughs> 31 syllables and a line of words. Together we are a marriage of mule to mule. Lazy is the path of our comfortable hearts. I let go and sigh with you. Like most Japanese poetry forms, short and intense is the uh, is the name of the game. <laughs> I like them though. We wrote a bunch during PAD, and that's why a lot of this uh is, is kind of love poemish, is because I was writing it all in February. So that that's what was on the brain for sure. Okay, I need nine, not ten. I'm trying to skip ahead. There it is. This is a song I wrote called Roses. Ah. Uh, with the uh, real life inspiration of a uh, bouquet of a dozen roses thrown, ag thrown across down the stairs, actually. <laughs> what a way, what a way. What a way to go. I'm okay, I'm okay This is the end we know And roses are all you see When the end is the dream
twirled away, thrown away What a way to go And roses are all you see When the end is the tree Seven minutes left and a permanent song left to go. I think I made it quite right. Um, so before this last twofer, I am going to say thank you to everyone for hanging out and listening. And thank you very much to Bernard and Rusty for having me. This has been great. I loved getting it together. I loved playing and reading for y'all. It's all been just awesome. So part of the reason this ended up being like poems and songs when I uh, said I wanted to do this, Bernard, I said, swear initially it was just going to be poetry because I do have an hour of poetry. That's no problem. But I had written this poem called Rain during the February PAD. And then uh, about last week, I was messing around on guitar and started this riff and really liked it. And then went, holy crap, the lyrics are that poem which doesn't actually happen to me all that often. So I was super psyched about the poetry and the songwriting really like meshing uh, the way I've always meant them to since I bought the guitar. Like, hey, I can't like, you know, sing lyrics or do my poems over top of clarinet live. So I guess I better learn like guitar or piano or something. So I got a $50 12 string and off we went. And here we are. But anyway, uh, the... Rain is the poem and refrain is the song. Uh, refrain has extra because the chorus is not part of the original poem. And I'm going to read both. I'm going to read Rain and then perform Refrain. This is a pantom. So leapfrog, A, B, B, C, C, D. Four is best for me. The swan song, the murderous refrain, waiting in an alley dark. The bitter love that smells of rain, always together, yet apart. Waiting in an alley dark, a heart exposed, a sentence left. Always together, yet apart, the embodiment of my regret. A heart exposed, a sentence left, all silence rudimentary, the embodiment of my regret, sleep snoring next to me. All silence rudimentary, the swan song, the murderous refrain, sleep snoring next to me, the bitter love that smells of rain. So that was Rain, the poem that I wrote in February. And this shall be refrain the song that I guess I wrote slash finished last week. We're gonna end with a dirge, thanks very much. That's, you know, my style, I guess. The swamp, the 
song the murderess refrain waiting in an alley dark the bitter love that smells of rain always to get the yellow So I hope my exploration of my poems and songs and how poems and songs uh, relate to each other. Oh, thank you so much, Jolie. And thanks, everybody, for uh, tipping and, uh, you know, just being here was super awesome. And uh, thanks. So I'm going to click off. I don't know if Rusty's still. Yeah, Rusty's still around. Cool. So, yeah, y'all, um, I play Blarney Tuesdays at 2 if you ever want to come hear some music. And, uh, yeah, thanks a lot. to I'd uh, like to hear uh, uh, in a stream performance um, at some point we'll see what uh, what comes up there thanks everyone for hanging out Jay good to see you uh, Clelia hello hello uh, uh, thank you June uh, Adama Clanix Mariner 
the Trillings. Thank you for being here. Mariner is uh, recovering. Thank you very much for coming anyway. Good to see you, Susan. Uh, nice to meet you again. And um, everyone, uh, have a wonderful evening. And please, uh, on your way out, um, put something in the uh, gnome over there next to the uh, calendar. And uh, I want to remind people that I'm going to be at a publishing conference next weekend. And uh, your host will be Sing Albatross. Um, I, I mentioned this because I think that might be an extra incentive for coming because he's a, he's a, a terrific poet and uh, uh, brilliantly organized. And, um, and, I, and I think you'll have a lovely time. And you also have a lovely uh, feature next week, too. So uh, that's even better. So it's going to be a good weekend. All right. Uh, have, a, have, have a wonderful time. I am off to catch up with uh, my sons who are partying in the backyard. Uh, yes, thing is very cool. And, uh, and I hope to uh, uh, see you all again very soon. Uh, my name is Rose Drop Rust. Uh, please uh, uh, encourage our host, uh, Bernard, who is paying all the bills, to continue paying all the bills by helping him out a little. All right? Have a great evening. Take care. <coughs> Bernard? Thank you, Rusty. Uh, for hosting, keeping it together, and of course, a big thanks to June Stormcrow. This uh, novel and very entertaining. Thank you very much. And of course, thank you all for being here and for your donations. And uh, hopefully, see you again next week for Jolly Carter, who's uh, I think she's gone now. Anyway, yep. should be another good week next week. So. Uh, See you later.